So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. We are back with UFL. We're very quickly going to talk about the hashtag United Stadium trailer uh, that was released a few days ago um, for the UFL game. All right. Now, I will admit it's a very nice trailer. It's a nice way to look at the stadium and kind of the graphics. It is very much a cinematic trailer, folks. So remember that because if you do scroll down, uh, there was this someone mentioning here that the ball physics are way more realistic in this than the actual demo they've shown. Uh, and UFL did come back and state, I know you can't really read this, uh, we used actual UFL in-game assets uh, and the game engine to create this video. However, uh, this is not real-time gameplay and some graphics and animations have been processed in order to make the video more cinematically appealing. Now, of course, they have to do this. I'm going to run it anyway. To, to give it a little bit more juice, right? You've got to market games accordingly. It's what FIFA do a lot of. So, yes, as much as I really wish the gameplay was like this, I don't know how doable it would even be, to be fair. But anyway, let me know your thoughts below. What do you make of it? The facts that, once again, they're showing us just, you know, what they're up to. They're creating these behind the scenes, of course. I really do like the fact that they went kind of from daytime to nighttime. Shows you the transition uh, of the you know the real-time weather system it's not a real-time weather system i made that up there's no dynamic weather in this game from what i know but of course you can play in the morning the afternoon you can play at night time as well uh, but here this is the this is what i'm talking about and it's really nicely done you know it's something a little bit different we haven't really seen from ufl so far and as much as yeah i would really hope that this gameplay was in the game it isn't so let's not get too carried away uh, but look, as long as they make a solid foundation of a game to start with, there's going to be potential for this game. And I, I hope they do listen to the community a lot. If they are really going to community drive this game, then I do think there's potential. Whether it comes out as a little bit more arcadey, okay, that's fine. I'll respect that. But I will also like to see them transition it into more of a, you know, a sim type approach. Uh, if that's what people want, right? They've got to find a balance. You know, we have spoke about this. It could be a bit of a hybrid, a little bit of arcade in there with a bit of sim as well. But do not expect this game to be mind-blowingly blowable. What's that? It's not even a word. But you know what I mean. Don't expect it to blow you away when this game comes out, folks. It's a new game. It's a new developer, right? They're starting from the ground up. It's not Konami. It's not EA. They haven't had years and years and years of experience. So... That's why I'm being very cautious with it. Regarding a release date, if anyone's wondering, we don't know. It's not set in stone. But I will say I do not want them to release this game half finished. Don't do it. If you have to delay this for another year and just keep showing us what you're doing, 100% do it, um, Strikers Inc. Don't put out garbage, right? Because that is going to completely butcher this. We know eFootball came out and was a mess, right? But the reason why eFootball survived was because it was built by Konami. They already had a respectable reputation of what they did with Pez. So a lot of people stuck with it. This game will not be the same case. If people play this, they don't like it. Mm, there might not that be that many people coming back to it. So that's why I do not want UFL to rush. Take your time. Implement the right mechanics. Try and, you know, get rid of all those bugs. I know we're going to still see them. Put out some alpha builds, some demos for us to play, and let us give them the feedback, for which in turn will hopefully make the game that much better. But yeah, I really like the look of this trailer. Not purely for the cinematics, but showing us the stadium. The stadiums look nice. I mean, you look at the turf, I think it looks good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm comparing this to eFootball. The turf looks terrible in that game, so... Yeah, I don't think we'll have to worry about graphics for this game. It is really going to be down to the gameplay and what this game offers as a whole because it is going to be free to play online, primarily based. Um, what kind of rewards are we going to get and how long is the longevity of this game going to be? Is it going to keep us engaged? All these questions and we'll find out the answers. But anyway, folks, that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts below and we will return next week with Master League. Look forward to it. I'm going to get you guys involved. Manchester United is coming and we're going to score some goals and win the league. That's the plan. Anyway, till next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.